I wish I were dead. At least if I were dead, I could haunt you. I could be with you. I could see you cry and laugh and eat and pretend like I could still touch your back in the offhand just the way I used to. I'd sneak up on you in the dead of night and watch your back until the sun came up again. That's all I want to be able to do. That's all I want anymore. Just to be allowed to watch your ribs go in and out and in and try and remember a time that I used to fit there. A time you used to let me. I'm not okay. I'm sure I will be soon though. But I'm not right now. Was it my fault? I'd understand if it was. I'm sorry, you know? I'm a bit feral, a bit silly. <laughs> Remember that time we were allowed to take home the school pet? That little hamster? I stuffed him into my dungaree pockets and swung him all the way home, all squeaking and susceptible, scurry in my open hands like a belt through a loop. I held him up to your face and you kissed his little pink nose and said that you'd never seen anything so precious before. You said, did you know a hamster heart beats three times as fast as a human? Three times as many beatings. Three times as much alive. And I looked down at this little lump of living and wondered how it felt about me. About toast for breakfast. About whether mum and dad would make it. About heartbreak. And you closed my hands around him and told me it was time for tea. Oh, I loved that hamster. At school we named him Edison after the light bulb man. Secretly Heathcliff and I would call him Cardiac on account of that little heart pumping away inside of him. We'd let him scurry between our bedrooms in the dark like the secret agent of the night. Carrying secret messages between the two of us. This personal carrier hamster would nibble away at our cheeks Passing on kisses that we didn't know how to give yet. <laughs> Squeakrut. Squeakrut messages. I kept him safe in the pocket of my dungarees, the ones with the flowers on, and I kissed him goodnight. I'd lay in bed with him curled up on my heart and listen to his little beat hammer away and wish for the day to come so we could play again soon. <laughs> I'd imagine what he was dreaming of, of sunflower seed and sunlight. Those see-through hamster balls that would cartwheel around the place. A slower heart rate, a lesser love. That week was all goldy yellow. The way light looks in old photographs, when they're all sepia tone and lovely. Thing was, I'd forgotten, you see, about anything that wasn't the hamster for a whole week. You, me and that little ball of fur were the only things in my whole house. I'd look across the playroom and it'd be like seeing the entire world. I'd forgotten about school and chocolate or daylight savings Forgot five a day and washing behind my ears and mum and dad. Forgot about mum doing the washing every Tuesday. Forgot about the dungarees. I'll never forget though, clambering through the still hot washing, screaming and howling with an open mouth to the denim. 
I'm sorry, said my mum. I didn't know. Why didn't you tell me? And you pressed your head to my neck and it stank of hamster food and I cried even harder. My dad wouldn't let me see the body. And mum kept me home from school for a few days. Life less than enough, she said. As she dumped multi-packs of crisps into the shopping trolley. You won't be doing that again. Remember, she'd get the wheat crunchies. No one likes wheat crunchies. That's all gone now though, isn't it? The room is just how you left it. All crummy and haphazard. Hamster cage door open. I stare at the unmade bed sometimes, wondering if it's still as warm as you left, if the pillow still smells of your breath. I can't creep across the floorboards to your bedroom, ready with hamster feed and secrets. I can't curl up behind you and look at where your hair meets your neck. I have to sit there, alone, watching the dark crawl four-legged into the place where we used to be us.